Hey guys, it's me, and I am here with a quick phase video. I wanted to um, do a video on my March phase. So there's a couple products that I've been using um, for the last month at least, uh, a lot of them longer than that, and um, I use them every day. So I wanted to let you know what my faves are for the month of March, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started. The first one is Maybelline. Uh, Dream Fresh BB Cream. I have been using this every single day and this is completely empty. I need to get some more. I was thinking about trying a different one this time. Um, but it's an 8-in-1 Beauty Balm and I use it because uh, especially when it's hot but especially for every day I don't like to use uh, foundation and I don't like full coverage. So I'll just use my BB Cream and my next fave which is the uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. So I use this along with my BB Cream. I put my BB Cream on with a blender uh, sponge and then I use um, my fluffy brush to put my skin finish on top of that. That's my daily, uh, as far as my face, facial makeup, that's what I do daily. Then as far as um, concealers, it's the uh, Maybelline New York, okay, and this is really small, it's in medium number 25, and um, this concealer was alongside, I don't know, it was one of the Maybelline um, foundations, and then the concealer kind of goes with it, but what I like about the concealer is the fact that I do get dark circles, I don't sleep a lot, and um, I use it for my highlighting on my nose and under my eyes. And this is a lot thicker, so it doesn't take a whole lot to cover the way I want it to, and it stays matte all day. It doesn't move, it doesn't smudge or anything, so I really have been enjoying this. And again, it's the Maybelline New York in the medium. That's the color that I use. They don't have a lot of colors for um, brown girls, women of color, but um, I think this may be the next to the, not the darkest, but the, the one right in front of it. So the next thing is the Wet n Wild Fergie um, Bronzer. And that's this right here. And I have it in, it's the, the Center Stage Collection, uh, the Shimmer Palette. This is in Carnival in Rio. So let's open this up. I liked it because it has like a, um, I'm drawing a blank here. But it's not just a flat um, bronzer where you just get one color. It has some different colors that are mixed in together. And I was looking for a darker bronzer, especially for the... Um, I have on lashes. I have on the strip lashes. I always wear strip lashes, nine times out of ten, and it's coming loose right here. It's bothering me. But um, I was I always do a darker bronzer in the summer because I know I'm gonna tan, and um, I just I use it for my contouring. I sometimes use it instead of using blush. You can't see anything now because this is the end of the day. My makeup is. I didn't really do anything today. I just used. Um, couple of the products that I'm going to show you. So um, today what I used was the Revlon Color Stay in Toast. And it's a matte um, foundation. I love matte foundations. I don't like anything with any type of shimmer or glow to it. Though it is very pretty. I have oily skin in some areas. And so it doesn't last too long. It it looks really greasy and oily quickly. So I always do a matte foundation. And so this is the 24 hour of the Revlon Color Stay, and this I absolutely love. As far as over the counter, Walgreens, Walmart, CVS makeup, this is my favorite. So, this is definitely a fave and something that I'll keep on hand. Um, it's very matte. I want to say that I've seen some reviews where they say that it dries too quickly, but I haven't had that problem. I normally stipple it on um, with uh, my flat top brush and I don't have any issues with it. I do my makeup pretty quick because I'm always in a rush. So maybe that's the problem. They're not, I'm doing it in small sections, you know, but I haven't had an issue with it. So the next thing 
is trying to do all the new stuff that I haven't really talked about. For my brows, I've been using the Milani Eyebrow Water Resistant Automatic Pencil with a little brush at the end. And the color that I use is just dark brown. So it has the pencil at the top and um or whatever. And you can't sharpen it or anything, but it's very soft and smooth and it goes on well. And um so this is what I've been using for my brows. I have been using the uh, brow kits um, with like the shadows or anything. I haven't been doing that lately. I've been just using this because a lot of times I like to use the pencils because they are quicker. And again, I'm always rushing. So the next thing that I've been using is my Mary Kay Strawberries and Cream um, Cheek Color. And I've had this for a while and I use it all the time. This is like a daily go-to for me. That's what I've been using lately. But um, just a very, I had, like I said, daily makeup. I don't do a whole lot. I just like a really fresh look. So um, that's the cheek color. That and one by Milani that I've been using kind of back and forth. It has more of an orange base to it. Then, as always, my CoverGirl um, Lash Blast. This time, I know I never get waterproof uh, mascara, but I do know, and it's because I don't like to take it off, but waterproof mascara, if you're going to curl, curl your lashes, which I have been doing for a while, I had stopped and then I started again. So if you're going to curl your lashes, use a waterproof mascara because it'll hold the curls in place. Um, if you use a regular mascara, it'll um, kind of weigh them down so the curls won't stay as long. But if you use a waterproof mascara, they will stay in place all day. So that's why I did this by accident. And the only reason I held on to it is because I knew that fact. So I was like, well, I may as well because I've been curling my lashes lately. Um, next thing is I normally only use this mainly for weddings. Um, but this is the Naked 2 palette. And... Um, Again, because I've been doing really basic looks, I got one um, that I use for myself. And this is the palette. I never bought the first one, the Naked One. It just had, th and this one I thought I had a better array of colors and shimmer versus matte um, colors. So that is kind of like my go-to everyday kind of look palette and next I haven't been using this on myself but I I really like I've been using it on my daughter and this is the smooth hydration argan oil and shea butter curl enhancing yogurt I like it because her hair is very fine very curly and wavy and um, I like to define her curls and I had been using the curl enhancing smoothie by shea moisture and she ran out so I was trying to find something else I want to try something a little different but I still wanted something that was gonna be you know safe for her hair and give her a lot of uh, moisture so I bought this and I absolutely love it it smells really good it's kind of thick um, but it's good because like I said her hair is very fine and I don't like anything really heavy however it gets really dry um, and it smells like coconuts it smells really good and um, along with it, I use either pure co coconut oil or the, uh, by the same company, they have a coconut oil, like in a liquid form. So that's what I have for her to keep her hair. And her hair stays moisturized all day. So especially with using the coconut oil, it's a lot better than, um, I'm trying to think what, I didn't really use the oil before. I think I was just using the smoothie. Um, but because especially being that it's so cold and with her wearing hats and you know her hair rubbing up against her car seat and everything the coconut oil has helped a lot so I haven't been able to use this product on my hair yet because I've been wearing it in the protective styles and um, haven't had a chance but I absolutely love it on her hair and she has like 3B hair I'm a little off her chart because I she has probably about like a 3B hair type. Um, 
but yeah so I love that for her so if you have hair 3B 3B 3C and probably just for moisture period um, it's probably really well because it it holds her curls it defines the curls and it just gives a lot of shine and moisture it's a really nice product then the last thing is um, I have been in love and I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I've been in love with the Sheer Luxury Tresses line. I normally get really bored with hair, um, with wigs and with sew-ins and protective styles. And I miss my hair because I love big hair. But it has been so easy to take care of my hair. And I've had so many people that don't know me that... Um, especially like clients, new clients and things coming in that think this is my hair and they just automatically think it is growing out of my scalp and um, I've been wearing it for a month now, I'm going on month number two and because um, I'm trying to do at least two to three months of protective styling after doing my last color and this is the same wig that I've had for the last three or four weeks I mean I've and it all I do is wash it every week um, just like I do my hair and it stays just like this all day there's absolutely no product in it whatsoever and um, so this is my March fave I've been using it uh, wearing it for all of March straight not wearing my hair at all my hair has stayed braided up underneath right now it's actually just slicked back in a ponytail because I was too lazy to braid it and I put it in a very tight bun in the back but this is another one of my March faves and I have um because when I make my wigs I never for my clients I never show you guys but this is uh the same hair washed and just a wig that I just finished doing for a client but um it's not styled at all because I don't know if she wants to wear it curly or straight but it's nice I mean she can part it anywhere she wants and I will do a separate video talking about that but I just wanted to include that because it is one of my March faves something that I've been wearing all of March and absolutely love sorry that hair is bothering me but that's it you guys so if you like any of those products or want to try them they're all pretty much at your local Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS, except for MAC, which of course, you know, MAC is like Nordstrom's or Macy's, and the Naked Palette I got from Sephora, and I actually got it from the Sephora inside JCPenney's. So, I will see you guys later with more videos. I've got a couple requests that I still need to make up for. I'm trying to catch up, and I've been really busy. So if you requested something, trust me, I'm getting to it. I will get it done. I'm just taking a little longer than I would like it to. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.